Variables are one of the most important beginner-level concepts in programming. They allow us to save values into memory using a new name that we assign. It, that lets us use those values later in the program. Before, we covered different data types. But what if you wanted to save one of those data types to use later? This works like how we store information in our brain. Variables are stored in computer memory and we can access them later by referencing the name we used. So how they work? We declare a name on the left side of the equal separator and on the right side we assign the value that we want to save to use later. Let's take the following example. We could type first underscore name equals John in brackets. When you create a variable, the line where you assign the value is a step called declaration. Now we've just declared a variable with the name of first name and assigned it the value of the string data John. This string is now stored in memory and we are able to access it by calling the variable name first name. Please note that variable can contain only letters, underscores and numbers. However, they cannot start with a number. You can encounter errors when handling naming. Let's look at a common mistake that occurs with variable. You could declare a variable sport starting with a capital S letter, which is equal to baseball in brackets. And next you want to print this variable, but you use sport variable with a lowercase s. And if you run, run this code, you'll get the following error. Name sport is not defined. This is because the names are completely different. We referenced a variable with a lowercase s, but declared one with a capital S. To fix this, we would capitalize the s in the sport within print. Now let's review integer and float variables. To store an integer or float in a variable, we give a name to the left of the operator and write a number on the side on the right side. In the next cell, let's go ahead and write the following code. Number 1 equals 5 and number 2 equals 8.4 and print num1 and num2. Go ahead and run that cell. Notice the output is 5 and 8.4, even though we print out num1 and num2. We are printing out the value that is stored in those variables.